Layla Burt. In 2017, one in 17 surveyed claimed to have used a prescription drug without a doctor's prescription. Over 20% of these same teens claimed to have done so before the age of 14. This survey was conducted by Alora Hilmes, a pharmacy residency coordinator for Nemers Hospital since 2008. Published on the Journal of Pediatric Pharmacology and Therapeutics on October of 2018. The United States Department of Health and Human Services should implement stricter regulations on prescription medications. First, I will talk about the problems of prescription drugs. Then I will talk about solutions to help fix it. Let's first discuss America's prescription drug abuse problem. There is still a major prescription drug abuse problem affecting America today. Some patients are receiving too many pills in their prescriptions. In 2013, over 50% of people who have claimed to abuse a prescription drug claim to have gotten them from a friend or family member, more specifically from their excess medication. Dr. Wilson Palacios, a professor at the Massachusetts School of Criminology and Justice for almost 20 years in the book Prescription Drug Abuse, published November of 2017, claims that about 1.3 million people go to the emergency room every year for prescri prescription drug misuse. Over 124,000 people die from these events. Uh, die from these events. Mishaps like these are what causes the United States to spend over $200 billion on prescription on, on improper and unnecessary use of prescription drugs. Thankfully, some people choose to dispose of their medications rather than give them out, but unfortunately, most people do so improperly. The United States Department of Health and Human Services, a government organization that helps protect public health and safety since 19, 1906, published on the Journal of Adolescent Adolescent Health and Family Health on November of 2017 claims that there are three common household ways methods of disposal with major flaws to them. The first most common disposal is flushing prescription pills down the toilet. While this may seem harmless, this inevitably ends, leads to prescription pills getting into our sewer systems, then into our water supplies, and that is very hard to filter out. The second most common method of disposal is storing prescription drugs away. Some people put it in their cabinets and drawers and forget about it. And this is harmful for obvious reasons, considering that some people can use expired drugs later on, or it allows medicine to get into the wrong hands. The third most common method of disposal is throwing away prescription drugs in the garbage. While this is the safest, safest option, it doesn't prevent people in the environment from getting exposed to hard drugs. Control prescription drugs, or CPDs, are a threat to public health and safety. CPD abuse has been becoming more common among teens and juveniles because of the convenience of obtaining those drugs. Teresa Bergen, president and spokesperson of MedShadow, a nonprofit advocacy group that provides information and educational resources for prescription drugs since 1978, published on the American Academy of Pediatrics Journal on September of 2018, claims that some students fake symptoms of ADHD just to get a prescription from their doctor or campus health clinic. She also claims another way that students get their drugs are from another friend or classmate who has a legitimate prescription, someone who needs that prescription in their everyday lives. So the most common CPDs abused are Adderall, Ritalin, Vicodin, Valium, Xanax, and so many more. And abusing CPDs like these causes heart failure, seizures, reduced cognitive, cognitive functions, or you can develop a tolerance for future legitimate use. But even with all of these problems, we have many mindful and practical solutions to help fix it. We should be making the clinicians who are prescribing medications have stricter guidelines. Anna Maria Lopez, president of the American College of Physicians, a national organization of physicians and specialists that help treat and diagnose patients of all illnesses since 1915, published on the Internal Medicine Journal in October of 2018, claims that patients should be getting recommended more alternative options and therapies to help reduce prescription pill use. Going to things like therapy, massage therapy, acupuncture, and more can help reduce uh, minor injuries and can overall reduce pill use. Another thing to help reduce prescription pill use are monitoring programs, such as the PDMPS program, which is the Prescription Drug and Monitoring Program. What this does is 
sees patients who are receiving too much medicine in their prescriptions. Rebecca Rimmel, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Fuse Charitable Trust, a nonprofit advocacy charity that improves public policy since 1948, published on the Pharmacoepidemiology Journal in March of 2016, claims that using monitoring programs such as the PDMPS program or the Patient Review and Restriction program will encourage safe use of controlled substances such as opioids and overall reduce drug-related injuries. Another method for drug abuse prevention is practicing safe disposal. The FDA has an online list of every prescription drug and its proper disposal method so people don't so people know the correct way to dispose. First, I talked to you about all the problems of prescription drug abuse in America. Then I talked about some mindful and practical solutions to help fix this problem. Because of our, uh, the United States Department of Health and Human Services should implement stricter regulations on prescription drugs. Because of our prescription drug abuse problem, approximately three people in this room will or have abused a prescription drug in their lifetime. Don't let yourself become a statistic. 